It is time for your Food Truck Friday. We are inside Piccachilly at 5th in Colorado. I've got Roxanne Bita and Bill Aldridge with me here this morning. They are the owners. Good morning, Roxanne. Good morning, Ann. Thanks for being with us. Tell me a little bit about Piccachilly. You all have not been open very long. We've been almost open almost six months now, and uh, the idea got started because we wanted to provide different kinds of chilies all year round. So that's what we've done. We've done we have five craft chilies on a daily basis, and our customers can pick their favorite chili and they can put it on their favorite entree. And despite the heat, you all have been busy over the summer. Despite the heat, we have more and more people coming and not just getting our entree items, but also getting the chili by the cup or even the quart. Yeah. Now, I want to move over to Bill. He's, you know, man in the kitchen over here. Tell me a little bit about what we're going to make this morning. We're going to make two things this morning. First is going to be our hangover, which is a bed of hash browns topped with our Colorado green southwestern chili. And what's in that chili? What's in that chili? Um, a lot of Roasted pork shoulder, a lot of Anaheim peppers, and some special seasonings. Oh, and what do you put on top of that? So to that, I'm going to add a little bit of cheese, maybe some jalapenos, some onions. And as far as spices are concerned, you have okay. got a range of chilies. Yeah, we do. We don't have anything that's just incredibly hot. Um, we've got our spices chili, which is called um, the Beef Eater Bean. It's got seven fresh peppers, but nothing too crazy. Okay. I'm going to top this with a fried egg. Ah, that definitely looks like it would take care of maybe a hangover right, or two. Not that right. I would know exactly. or anything exactly. like that. And then secondly, just some good old-fashioned uh, chili cheese fries made with our Red River Red Chili. Uh, we do two layers of cheese, a base layer of the fries, and a big helping Big helping of chili. That all looks delicious. I'm about to get the, the fork out. But there's a really sweet story behind Pick a Chili. Bill and Roxanne just got engaged last week, so congratulations. Thank you. And you all actually met in business school. We did about 20 years ago. We met at Baylor and business school. And then uh, it just took us a little while to get here, but uh, we kind of did it with a bang the second time around. Did you ever imagine that it would be a food truck? Never. Never. It's, um, it's moved very fast and it's been very successful. Yeah, that's so great. Okay, so what am I going to try first okay, here? Okay, here you go. Well, first off, we've got our zesty blonde okay. chili. Ooh, I like the name of that. <laughs> right? Lauren would like the name of this one. Okay, and yeah. so what is this? So it's our chicken chili. Uh, it's based on a traditional white chili recipe. Um, mm -hmm. We uh, balance sweet with heat with our habaneros in Pinot Grigio white wine. And tell me, what can folks get chili on? Baked potato, you've got all kinds of yep, goodies. Yep, the chili potters are, are baked, potato, baked potato topped with chili, cheese, and onions. Um, we also do sweet potato chili cheese fries, uh, good old-fashioned Frito pie. Um, you name it, we put good chili on it. Yum. Okay. For those healthy-minded, we even have the wedgie, which is a wedge oh, that's salad. A, that's a big old, that was <laughs> heavy. Which is a wedge salad topped with your favorite chili. I'm going to try it. Right? <laughs> Chili for breakfast. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Bill, Roxanne, I guess I shouldn't talk with my mouth full there. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us out this morning. Come see Pick a Chili. They are at 5th and Colorado. Delicious, delicious all year round. Yep. All right.